What's up everybody, Tiankum here with Stoyak Quilting. Before we dive on into our video, one quick announcement. On Saturday nights at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, we do a D-stash right here on YouTube. So come tonight, check it out, see what you think, but let's dive on into the actual video. So, as you see in front of me, this is a very easy to do baby blanket. Um, most people know that there's two famous blocks out there. There's a churn dash and the pinwheel. You mix them both together and you get a pin dash, which is what you see here. Let's dive right on into the cutting instructions. Let's get started. As we're diving on into our cutting instructions, let's do a close up of the quilt with my brother Zach's baby. Here it is. As you can see, my brother's son is adorable and it's a great blanket. So diving right on into our cutting instructions. As you see in front of me, I've already pre-cut my fabrics. What I did is I had three quarters yards of each of these fabrics. I've got my light and my dark. I cut them all down to five by five squares. Very, very simple here. Now what we do with our five by five squares, we're gonna take one of our darks and one of our lights I'm gonna move these out of the way. I'm gonna do the same thing here, actually. And you lay them right sides together. You'll need a marking pencil or a pen or whatever you use to do your marks. And what we do here is we're gonna mark a line corner to corner, so from the top left corner to the bottom right corner on all of our blocks here. I'm gonna do that to both of these here. And then we take our sewing machine. How's that looking there? And we're going to be sewing a quarter inch seam on both sides of our line. In my case, I've got a red line, so I'm going to sew on both sides of my red line. Give you a better view here on the camera. Make sure I've got everything threaded right. I've got that block, I'm going to do it again to my other block. Now that I have both my blocks sewn, I'm going to take a ruler and a rotary cutter and cut right on my red line that I have. You can also, if you'd like, take a pair of scissors to this. Um, I prefer the rotary cutter personally, if I can find it. There it is. Got my first one cut. So now that we have these cut, we can open them up to be half square triangles. It is super important to iron all of our half square triangles completely flat to the dark side. So I'm going to do that now. So now that I've ironed out my half square triangles, it's time to turn them into a pinwheel. Very easy to do. All you want to do is get all of your points here. Let me make sure I get this done right. Let me put this into the camera so everyone can see. You just want to turn all your blocks one quarter turn, which then gives you the pinwheel that you see here. So from here, we're going to sew our top left and our bottom left blocks together. Same thing for our right side. And then we're going to sew those together. And then we're going to iron everything out completely flat. Now I have both my sides sewn, I'm going to iron everything out, sew my middle seam next. 
Now that I have both my halves completely ironed out, I'm going to put them right sides together. Make sure I'm lining up my center seams. And continue with my quarter inch seam. Back over to the ironing board to iron it out. So now that we've got this all ironed and sewn, this is a perfect pinwheel. It's now time to change it over to a churn dash. And let me show you how you do this. First, we're going to want to make sure that we are square. So I'm going to just line up my edges here. We're taking off the least amount possible. I'm going to grab my rotary cutter too. And we're going to cut our two sides. As you can see, there's not really anything coming off of this other than just fuzz, but we want to make sure it is 100% square. Let me just clip the ear there. Perfect. So now I know these two sides are good. So now I've got everything ironed out and flat, I'm going to square off my other side which will make this a 9 by 9 square. And take your time here, make sure you're lining everything up right. And again, there's not very much to take off, so make sure you're taking off the least amount possible. Just like so. Now it's time to cut this down into sections. We're going to cut three inches from the left, three inches from the right, three inches from the top and bottom in that order. I'm going to grab my ruler here and I'm going to just line up my three. So I got that lined up with my three. I'm going to grab a, this rotary cutter is a little dull so I'm going to grab a different one. And I cut. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Just like so. Here, make sure we're doing it real nice. Now we're going to do the same thing top and bottom. It would be a lot easier if we had a lazy Susan here, that way we could spin the block around, but for the sake of the video I'm going to just do it just like this. So now that I have everything cut down, what I like to do is just do a second round of pressing to make sure everything is flat, which I'm going to do right now. Now I've got everything pressed again just to make sure, it's time to lay out our block. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all my half square triangles, which are these ones here on my left. I'm going to take my, I like to call these like little pills because it looks like a little pill here. And I'm going to lay them out just like this so that I have four half square triangles, four of my little my pills or my bars, and my pinwheel. So I'm going to start with the center pinwheel here. And then we're going to take our little bars or our pill and put the white side facing or going towards the center pinwheel that we have. The next step is to add our half square triangles with the white pointing towards the pinwheel. Now it's time to sew this thing up and finish it off. So I'm going to take Starting from my bottom left, I'm going to do my bottom row, my middle row, and then my top row. So I'll do those really quick. And I'm going to just go ahead and chain piece the rest. Now 
now that I've got my rows sewn, it's time to just add my top to my middle, middle to the bottom, and get this all sewn together. But don't forget to iron out your piece. You need to iron every single step to make sure everything stays square. So I'm going to iron, I'm going to finish up my sewing here. So, once you put your block together, it's going to look just like this. I'm going to iron this out one more time to make sure everything stays super flat. So I just finished ironing out our pin dash and it looks great. This is a super fun, fast, easy block to make. And if you like to make the quilt that we've done our baby blanket here, it only takes two thirds yards of both the white and the blue. Obviously, if you want to make it bigger, buy more yardage and cut more of them out. It's just a super, super easy block to make. As always, if you've liked this video, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and don't be afraid to share it with your friends. One last plug in for the D stash. It's tonight at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We're definitely gonna see you there. My name's Tiankum, teaching you how to sew like a pro. We'll see you here next week at Sew Yeah Quilting.